It's looking great. Oh, thanks. What you doing here? Well, I was having lunch with a client around the corner, and I know how much you like these. Thank you. Where'd you get all the dirt? Found it in the ground. Amazing. I know. Always the last place you look, huh? Hey, why don't you go put on some old clothes and come join us? Oh, I'm not really into gardening. Ever tried? Well, no. You should. Get your mind off work. It's a great way to unwind. You know what? Maybe I will. A little nature, a little back to the earth, be good for me. Sure. Oh, maybe I'll hit the uh, Hemmaker Slimmer website and see if they can overnight that 20-piece garden tool set to me. I'll see you later. Boy, when you unwind, you don't fool around. Hey, Dharma. Hey, Larry, what you got there? What's it look like? Little plants. And if anyone asks, that's what you tell them. <laughs> Jealousy in our garden, we're only going to reap bitter fruit. Fine. But how come she's not doing any of the work? Because her husband's company owns the land. Oh my god, how much is in there? $8,200. This is a deposit slip from Montgomery Industries from 1972. Well, I guess we know who the losers weepers are, huh? There we have to return this. No, we don't. We're the finders keepers. Yeah, would you look at that? March 1972. $8,200. I bet you're glad to get that back, huh? Oh, you bet. You know, uh, when my cat ran away, we offered a $50 reward, and she wasn't particularly worth anything. Well, that's not true. Bet gives you love. You can't put a price on that. <laughs> And you were here then. Do you remember somebody losing this money? Well, there was a fellow that worked here. He got uh, fired for stealing a petty cash deposit. They had some crazy story about uh, being chased by a dog and dropping it somewhere. <laughs> so he was telling the truth. Well, I, I guess about dropping the deposit, but it's uh, just his word about the dog. <laughs> you know, my neighbors uh, lost their dog and won't return. They gave the people $50 and they hadn't even posted a reward. Don't you wish there could be more people like that? What a reward! <laughs> Poor guy, spending all these years accused of a crime he didn't commit. We should go find him and tell him the good news. I got a better idea. Let's find him, tell him we have good news, and see what it's worth to him. <laughs> Greg, kill me if you found out I left you here alone. This place attracts a pretty rough crowd. Hey, 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 Jimmy. <laughs> what do you got this cold? My ex wife. Excuse me, um, I was told that there's an Earl Tucker who comes in here sometimes. Do you know him? Can one really know another human being? <laughs> She's okay. He's okay. Oh. Thanks. Want some chicken wings? Chicken wings? It's 10 o'clock in the morning. Hi. I'm Dharma. Are you Earl? It depends. I am if there's a drink in it for me. You have a drink already. I'm planning for my future. <laughs> Did you work at Montgomery Industries 30 years ago? Yeah. I guess my weight. You know, you have been very hard to track down, mister. The only address I had was your sister, and when I brought up your name, well, I guess I don't have to tell you, the two of you have issues. <laughs> you know, you really should try and find some common ground and rebuild your relationship. She's a nasty old drunk. <laughs> well, there you go. Did Fat Tony send you? Because you can tell him to save himself the trouble. I'll break my kneecaps myself. 